Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're going to look at the reset procedure uh, for some few motors and specifically um, what can be the problem if the 383 um, sequence doesn't work because that's the most common way of resetting a Sonfi motor but sometimes it doesn't work um, and there can be a, a number of reasons why and we're going to discuss them today. Now first of all, um, when you get the motor it's already in uh, the factory settings which means you cannot reset it and that's a common issue. Uh, you get a new motor, you want to test it, reset it um, and nothing works because you do the procedure and nothing works. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty common. Um, so how can you test that? How can you see if it's in the factory settings? Well there's an easy way, I've connected this uh, Tilt 25 RTS to show you how that works. Um, so th it's currently in the, in the factory settings um, and then you're basically going to use the, the procedure to, um, to program the motor and just to test it to see if it works and if it's in fa factory settings. And you do this by pressing the up and down button at the same time and then the motor will jog once um, and I'll show you now. And press the buttons and you see the jog. So it basically quickly runs up and down um, and that means it's in the factory settings. So that means I can now set the motor and I know it's working perfectly. But it also meant that it, um, I wasn't able to reset it because it was already in the right settings. So uh, the motor then doesn't allow a reset. So that's a common issue. Um, another issue of course can be that there's no power. Specifically when you have uh, uh, more uh, than one blind or more than one shutter, it's easy to test. If one isn't working and you try to do a reset and the other ones are, then you know it's a, it could be a power issue. Um, third option could be that the motor is actually defective, but before we draw that conclusion, there's a few other things you can, you can check if the 383 isn't working. Because the 383 um, sequence works for motors with an integrated receiver and that are powered uh, with mains, mains voltage, so that means uh, other than 10 or 230 volts. Um, and other motors, uh, which are commonly used in blinds or shades, um, can be 12 volt or have a, um, a transformer, for example, as a power supply. Um, and they are um, reset in a different way. So not with a 383 sequence, um, but they, they're actually reset by um, a press on the program button and holding that for 10 seconds in which the motor will jog three times. Um, I can actually um, give you a link um, to that procedure, I'll put that in the description of the video as well as a link to the 383 procedure. Um, but it's actually another way of resetting the motor, so if you try a 383 sequence for a motor like this, it's never going to work. So it's just a matter of, uh, of finding out which motor you have and, and using the right procedure. Now there's a third option, um, because we have the, the mains power motors, we have the 12 volt power motors, but we also have external uh, receiver units um, and they are reset in a different way. Where, where I have to say that um, it's not actually a reset as you would expect, where you go back to the motors and limits being gone um, and, and you're free to, to set those and the link gone with the remote control. All you can do on an external uh, module like this um, and in the usual way is, um, is, is uh, remove the link um, because the, the limits of the motor are actually set on the motor itself. Um, you can do this on, uh, on the receiver module but that's not very common. Um, so an actual reset of this module will only mean that you remove the control from the memory of the motor. Um, so that's something uh, you need to realize. Um, the way it's done is you press the program button, a LED starts flashing, you press the prog button on the back of the remote, it starts flashing quicker and then it's gone. Um, but again, uh, the procedure is not a 383 power sequence, um, so that means that uh, also for this unit there's a different way of, uh, of resetting it. Um, so that's something uh, you can try if, uh, if you aren't able to do a 383 sequence uh, for the reset. And that's actually all the options. The last one remaining, of course, is, uh, is a defective motor and then it needs to be replaced. So that's, a, that's a sort of a last resort thing. Um, so there are a lot of different things you can test before you actually have to draw the conclusion that you, uh, you have a defective motor. Now, if you have any questions about this or if you're still unsure on, on um, how to solve the problem that you're uh, experiencing with your Sunfi motor, let me know. Um, if you like the video, it'd be nice if you subscribe. I always like to see the subscriber count go up. So uh, please do go ahead and do that if you like the videos. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.